All right, guys, I received this in the mail a couple days ago, and they don't normally send boxes this big for spinning reels. The reason it's this big is because I got the, the 10,000 size. This thing is freaking huge. Without further ado, I've already unboxed it. I'm going to show it to you guys. Boom. The Pen Battle 3 10,000 series. A couple cool things about this reel and the reason that I got it. It's got the HT100 drag system from Pen. It's super smooth. You can hear it. Got that classic Pen sound as well. Every single gear in here has been cut out by a machine, so they're perfectly aligned. Um, it'll make it so it's a lot more solid in there and it'll last a lot longer. Mono, I'm going to be using pretty high poundage mono, probably 50 pound for my lightest and it can hold 230 yards of just 50 pound mono which is awesome that's a whole lot of yardage for braid um, I'm probably gonna be using 65 pound it can hold 710 yards of braid so it can hold a whole lot of line on here for big fights um, and that's what I'm gonna be using this for is a bunch of big fish so yeah this is pretty much exactly what I need um, as for the weight, this thing is 38.8 ounces. It's freaking heavy. I mean, I'm getting a little tired just holding it here. Definitely need to hook it up to a pole and keep some leverage on there. But yeah, this thing's definitely going to get it done for all the sturgeon. It's got 40 pounds of max drag. I'm going to probably string it up right here. The little piece here that you can tie your braid on with, but I'm going to be better safe than sorry and do a little mono backing. And then after that, I'm going to switch up my braid. That knot there is just your standard improved clench knot. And yeah, I'm just going to reel a little bit on here to get some backing. We're going to tie off to some braid. And I'm going to throw the braid in that little bucket of water. That's what I'm going to use to keep it wet. And also just give it a little bit of tension. But yeah, we got the backing on, baby. Tied my uni knot there from my, or my monofilament to my braid. And now I'm going to reel up the braid. Spool this reel up. I got it in that bucket of water down there. Yeah. Just keeping a little tension with my hand. Letting that spool go through the water there. Just spooling up with braid, but I did not have enough, so we're gonna finish spooling up with mono. Got the reel full. I guess that little patch braid that I have in there is going to be like my 100 yard warning if I'm getting spun out. So that's why we'll I have to crank up the drag. I couldn't wait any longer to try out my new combo, so we headed to the river. It was raining. We had a really cool rainbow, but I really wanted to get out there and finish stringing up. So we hit the water, boys. All right, guys, I'm going to go over the terminal tackle that I'm using so that you guys can tie this right along with me. All right, to start off tying the sturgeon rig, we are gonna thread our leader through our sinker slider. That's a regulation that you have a sinker slider, guys. And I'm gonna put this bead through. This is just gonna be to protect this knot that I'm gonna tie. I'm tying a knot onto this swivel right here. This is gonna keep my sinker from going up to my bait. I'm just tying in a normal fisherman's knot here, guys. Just a normal clench knot and this swivel's rated for about 200 plus pounds and this is what you're going to be left with for your beginning setup for the line that i'm going to have attached to my weight i'm going to be using 15 pound power pro um, in the future i'm definitely going to go to like some 30 pound or maybe 40 pound power pro the regulation is that the line is lighter than your main line just because they don't want your hooks to be left in the water but in the future i'm going to go a little bit heavier than this because I ended up losing a couple sinkers and yeah that sucks also in this demonstration video um, the amount of line that you want and the length of your line is just depends on the bottom that you have I was working with a little bit of vegetation on the bottom so I ended up leaving it a little bit longer I'm tying on my leader here We got it all cinched up. We're gonna clip the tag ends here. All right, and we have our connection. Now I'm gonna be tying on the hook. The hook I'm using today is a Gamagatsu Circle Octopus Hook. It is barbless, that's another regulation. 
I'm just tying a normal fisherman's knot. Cinching it down here. This hook point was super, super sharp. So I ended up pulling out my multi-tool and using that to tighten it. Make sure I got a good cinch. I just wanted to show you guys that I have a barbless hook here. It did have a barb on it before, but I was able to pinch it down and shear it off and it's not catching on my fingernail or my finger. All right guys, that's my whole setup. I'm just gonna give you the final rundown. Got my 50 pound monofilament line right here. The first thing I tie on is my swivel, but above that I tie my bead right here and then my weight slider. Make sure that your weight slider, when you tie it on, um, the long part is going down towards the hook. It just gives it a little bit more clearance as opposed to being upside down from your hook and weight so they don't tangle up. After that, I've just got another bit of 50 pound mono right here. It goes up to my Gamagatsu hook. It's barbless. And yeah, that's the setup, guys. This is 15 pound braid going down to my weight. And I'm just gonna loop it around and put on the desired weight. I think we're gonna go for around eight ounces out here tonight. So yeah, let me get that on and we can show you that. Just getting ready to cast out my new combo for the very first time. I've got it rigged up and I am very, very excited, guys. It's a spinning combo, so we don't gotta worry about a fat bird's nest on the first cast. I'm gonna reel up a little bit. All right, bombs away. <laughs> How did it feel? Heavy. Ooh. Yes, yeah, Sturgeon on I told you that was the cast. Guys, the first bite of the night. We don't got them in yet though. We're barbless. He took me all the way down. Dude, when you spotlighted him out there, it jumped. I thought it was teeny at first. You see that cast though? I told you that's the sweet spot. This is why you get a pole this long, you can fight it with your the quads. Dude, it's a big one. Ugh. We got the 11 foot rod. No, he's not huge, but. Let me turn this. Yeah, he's, they can go so deep. Oh, he's in the hole. I might land him right here. Yeah, this looks like a decent spot. He's straight below. Oh yeah. Just a little dude. Too big, but a really good looking fish here, nice and healthy. We're just rushing a lot of water through his gills, so he's gonna be feisty. Brandon, should we get a little picture? He wants to go. Let me get that pole. Oh, stay here. Whoa, what the? What just happened? That scared the crap. Shit out of me. <laughs> I thought like the beaver was coming at me or mama sturgeon. Oh. That's okay. As for the pen battle three, this reel definitely stood up to my expectations, guys. I horsed that fish in. I think it only got a couple clicks of drag out, but yeah, it's awesome. I'm super excited to use it and definitely get on some bigger fish, test it out, but 
casting was super easy. The fact that it's a spinning reel was awesome. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe, guys. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Later.